Toastmasters has released new tools to perform the tag team role that is the timer, the R counter and the grammarian. In this episode, I look at all these three tools and see how we can implement them in a Toastmasters meeting. Let's get started. If you go to the Toastmasters website and log in with your credentials, give your username and password and click on the login button. Once you are successfully logged in, click on your name and select profile. If you scroll down, you will find a new option here called Meeting Tools Beta version. What this means is that these tools are in the testing phase. So let's test them out and see if we can use them in our next Toastmaster meeting. If you have taken up a role in the next Toastmaster meeting as one of the tag team, which is the timer, the R counter or the grammarian, then you should find this of interest to you. Let's say you have taken up the role of an R counter. The first thing you will notice is that you have a ready-made script. All you have to do is click on view script and the script that you should read out while introducing your role is available to you. When the Toastmaster of the day calls out to you and asks you to explain the role, all you have to do is read the script. Then click OK. When you're ready to start performing your role, scroll down, select the date of the meeting. Let's say the meeting is happening today. If you are a member of more than one club, you will get a drop down, choose which club is meeting today. Then select the member from the list available and you are ready to start tracking the filler words of this member. For example, if you observe that he has uttered an R, simply click on the plus button and the number will change to one. Similarly, let's say the member uttered the word so twice, click on plus and one more time and you have a count of how many times this member has uttered that filler word. These are all the filler words that are predefined. If you want to add your own filler word, that's not a problem. Simply click on this option, edit filler words, scroll down and you can enter your own filler word. Let's say, hmm, then click on the plus button. This word is now available for you for counting the crutch words. If you want to remove certain filler words from the counting process, you can select this trash icon and remove it. When you are done, scroll down and click on the save button. If you want to count the crutch words of a guest, that is possible. Scroll down. In this drop down for the member, select guest. And now we can enter the name of the guest. Let's say Anil Lobo and start counting the crutch words of that member. Let's say one um, three hours, a couple of buts, then click on the save button. When the speaker changes, change the name of the member and start the same process. Once done, click on the save button. At the end of the meeting, when it is time to submit your report, all you have to do is click on the view report. You will get a summary of all the crutch words that you have counted during the meeting. All you have to do is read out this report when asked to do so. And that's it. This tool gets a five out of five from me. The next time I take up the R counter report, I'm going to use this tool. Next, let us look at the Grammarian tool. Select Grammarian. The process is similar to the R counter tool. You start by reading the script. Keep in mind that as a Grammarian, you have to choose the word of the day. If you have chosen the word of the day, all you have to do is replace that word here and give an example of how to use that word in a sentence. When you are ready to start performing your grammarian role, scroll down, choose the date which should ideally be today, select the club in which you are performing the role, enter the word of the day here, let's say vivacious, select the member from the list, indicate whether that member has used the word of the day, put your grammarian comments such as excellent words that were used by that speaker or areas of improvement for that speaker. For example, let's say the speaker used a great quote. Make a note of that. If you observed any improper use of grammar, you can make a note of that and click on the save button. When the next speaker comes on stage, select that member. If that member used the word of the day, enable it, enter your observations. Once you are done, click on the save button. When it is your turn to read out the grammarian report, select view report and read out the report as shown on the screen. For this tool, I would rate it 4 out of 5. One area of improvement that I would like to see in this tool is the ability to count the number of times a member used the word of the day. 
As of now, I can only indicate if that member used the word or not, but not how many times the word was used in the meeting. Will I use this tool as a grammarian? Certainly. A big thumbs up. Finally, let's look at the timer tool. This tool also comes with a ready-made script. All you have to do is click on view script and read out the script when asked to do so. Do make sure that you check out the agenda to see if any member is giving an icebreaker speech. If there are no icebreaker speeches, you can skip this section when reading the script. When done, click OK. When you're ready to start performing your role, scroll down, select the date, which should be today, select the club in which you are performing the role, select the member that you're timing, select the speech type, let's say a table topic, and when the member starts speaking, you will hit the start button and the timer starts. For table topics, the screen turns to green when it is one minute. It will turn to yellow when it is one and a half minute. And it will turn to red at two minute mark. When the speaker stops speaking, click on the stop button. Click on save to save the timing report for that speaker. When you want to time the next speaker, scroll up and select the member or a guest. If it's a guest, you have to enter the guest name. Select the speech type, let's say an evaluation. And when the evaluator starts the evaluation, hit the start button. When the evaluator ends the evaluation, hit the stop button and then click the save button to save the timing report. At the end, when it is time to give the timing report, all you have to do is click the view report option and read out the timing report. That's all there is to it. The timer tool is absolutely brilliant. I would rate it five out of five. All the three tools work perfectly from a mobile device. Here I have my Samsung mobile. Let's open the browser. I will go to the Toastmasters website and log into the website by clicking on the login option here. Give my username and password and click login. Once you're logged in from your mobile, click on this menu option and make sure you click on your name. What this does is it takes you to your profile page on your mobile. Then scroll down till you reach the meeting tools beta. And all the three tools are available by selecting this menu option and choosing one of the tools, whether it's our counter, grammarian or timer. Let's select our counter. And it's the same thing. You have your script. And then you have the date, the club and the member that you are tracking the filler words and the list of filler words. In fact, when it comes to the R counter role, I feel it's much easier to perform this role on a mobile rather than on a computer. Tracking the filler words is as simple as clicking on the plus and then scroll down and click on the save button. So that was a quick look at the new tools for performing the tag roles, timer, R counter and grammarian. I think Toastmasters has done a great job here. This day especially, when most meetings are happening online, these tools will be very useful to make the meeting look professional. I hope you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want more content like this.